Uh, Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina said he would not enforce it. And Benalua County Sheriff John Allen said, an said he is apprehensive because there are too many constitutional issues surrounding the emergency order. Here he goes. While I understand and appreciate the urgency, to the temporary ban challenges the foundation of our Constitution, which I swore an oath to uphold. Mr. Allen said in a statement Friday, I am wary of placing my deputies in positions that could lead to civil liability conflicts as well as potential risk posed by prohibiting law-abiding citizens from their constitutional right to self-defense. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Where do I begin, man? Today is 9-11. Uh, you know, typically when you uh, Google something, they've got the big old thing, you know, it's commemorating a day. And if you hit the Google button today, nothing. Nada. Nothing commemora commemorating anything. And it's just... Well, just another day in the minds of the Google folks, I guess. Uh, so, I don't know. What's what's so special about today, Google, that you might have should have put on there so some of your themes? I guess somebody's not woke. Somebody's not going crazy. It's not, you know, some flaming day. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, that kind of pisses me off, and it started our day off wonderfully. Uh, second of all... Got all the emails from uh, my friend John Crump. I'm going to talk about that here in a few seconds. Emma Lent. And uh, what else did I have that really just chapped my rear end today? No, that's basically it. So let's talk about this. Um, got an email from my good friend John Crump on Friday talking about the New Mexico governor suspends concealed carry claiming public health order. Well, first of all, let me just say this. Screw that shit, okay? Uh, let's just go ahead and be honest about what's going on here. That is a lady who's out of her God bless America mind. Here's the thing. If you're adhering to that law, uh, then that's just crazy. Uh, secondly, uh, here, the local police are like, yeah, no, we're not doing anything about this. And they're, let's go after the criminals. Uh, cause the law abiding people are not the people out there shooting, uh, people, other folks, this dumb excuse for a governor. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, I got M.O. Land, John Crump, great author. Uh, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham issued an ex-tweet. Today I issued a 30-day ban on the opening concealed carry of guns in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. Gun violence is killing between two and three children every month in New Mexico. Uh, every single one of these deaths is unconscionable and they must be stopped. Lady, let me explain something to you if you're listening to this, to this thing, which I probably you're not. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the typical liberal who thinks that getting rid of or keeping law-abiding citizens from carrying guns is going to stop, going to even remotely stop what's going on in these communities. You know it will stop what's going on in these communities, but they don't want to admit it, do they? Law-abiding citizens are not out there gangbanging, are they? No, they're not. Let's go on and continue this thing. This is interesting. Uh, <laughs> New Mexico Governor Lujan Grisham issued a public health order suspending open and concealed carry firearms uh, for the next 30 days. Now, here's, the, here's another kicker that I want to find interesting. Lady, if anyone is harmed due to the fact that they were not able to defend themselves because a gangbanger, who obviously is not going to follow your damn laws, you are responsible. Their, heart, their health is on your hands. If someone dies, it's on you. You should be removed from office immediately, the governor announced in a press conference Friday that she was taking extraordinary step after the death of an 11-year-old. And I'm not making light of that because that's not, that's, it's heavy duty. But the law-abiding citizen is probably not the person who shot that 11-year-old. She made the announcement alongside other New Mexico officials. I'm sure they were all sitting there with the mom's man action now, bullshit sitting behind them. She made the announcement alongside, okay, well, anyways, defend the Constitution. Solemn oaths to defend the Constitution. Okay, this is it. New Mexico officials, all of whom had taken solemn oaths to support and defend the Constitution. The order will almost certainly be challenged. Yes, it already has. Uh, let's go ahead and get on down here. MLN News has reached out to several gun rights organizations. GOA responded to governor's action is looking for one Cuban American who works for GOA compared the order to the country his family fled. Absolutely. The New Mexico governor has violated the rights of New Mexico's law-abiding citizens in a manner I would only expect to see 90 miles off the coast of Florida. 
in the communist hellscape that is Cuba. Criminals will continue to break the law and law-abiding citizens will suffer because of it. And here's another thing that I found. If in the event that people adhere to these unconstitutional laws, it only makes it easier for these assholes to continue doing what they are doing. Uh, all right. And also... On top of that, thanks, John, for mentioning this, the Regulation and Licensing Division, who the hell is that, conducts monthly inspections of licensed firearm dealers to ensure compliance with all sales and storage. You know what that's called? The freaking Gestapo. This is, this is the most ridiculous thing. You know what, lady? No. Absolutely not. I don't give a shit. You're not going to take my ability to protect my family and my well-being and my folks. This is a spit in the face of the Supreme Court right now. The Department of Health, along with the Environmental Department, will begin wastewater testing for illegal substances such as fentanyl at schools. No shit. That's what you should be doing. Department of Health will compile and issue comprehensive report on gunshot victims presenting, presenting at hospitals in New Mexico, which will shell, if available, if available, demographic data of gunshot victims, including age, gender, race, ethnicity, data on gunshot victims, healthcare customer outcomes, and the brand and the caliber of firearm used, the general circumstances leading to the injury, the impact of gunshot victims in New Mexico's healthcare system, and other pertinent information. I can answer that for you right now. And I think I have. Look at the demographic. The law abiding citizen ain't in part of that. No firearms allowed on state property. This also includes other places such as parks and where children gather. Absolutely. No, 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 no. You have to have the ability to protect your kids. New Mexico police will add officers in Albuquerque with funding for overtime. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and talk about law-abiding citizens and ruin their lives, right? No lawsuits have been announced. Yeah, no, yes, they have. I'm going to attach... John Crump's article here. Uh, also, I'm going to put the link to his YouTube channel. Get over there and subscribe if you haven't already done so. <sighs> Pardon, I'm getting fired up. The New Mexico governor's, this is Washington Times. Uh, this is interesting. So within minutes, this turd. Oh, my God, I absolutely cannot stand it. Within hours of New Mexico, blah, 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 emergency order suspending the right to carry firearms in Albuquerque, the surrounding Bernalillo County, a federal lawsuit to block the ban was filed. Absolutely. Uh, state lawmakers call for her impeachment. Yes. And even gun control activists rebuked her for violating the U.S. Constitution. Absolutely. The governor made a bold move to suspend gun rights for 30 days, uh, calling it a public health emergency. The, others applies, the order applies to open and concealed carry. The uh, National Association for Gun Rights and Foster Haynes and a member of the Albu who lives in Albuquerque sued the U.S. government, U.S. District Court in New Mexico and sought an immediate injunction against implementing her Friday order. I hope this happens because this is what's going to stop this bullshit from happening in the future, ladies and gentlemen. In a social post, the gun group accused Ms. Lujan Grisham of tyrannical executive order banning firearms. Again, Gestapo, Gestapo, Gestapo. What are they going to do now? Oh, well, they can do anything. I support gun law safety laws. However, this order from the governor of New Mexico violates the U.S. Constitution. No state in the union can suspend the federal constitution. Representative Ted Lieu, California Democrat, said on X. David Hogg, oh my God, here it is, who is a student arrived, survived a deadly shooting, blah, 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 went on to become a leader, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I support gun safety, but there's no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution, he wrote on X. What? Anyway. I'm going to put the links down below. I mean, I could sit there and just keep going. Oh, I like this one. Uh, when announcing the emergency order, Ms. Lujan Grisham insisted it was un not unconstitutional and was allowed under an exception of the Constitution guarantee for, of the right to bear arms. I, if there's an emergency and I've declared an emergency for the temporary amount of time, I can invoke additional power, she said. No constitutional right, in my view, including my oath, is intended to be absolute. There are restrictions on free speech. There are restrictions on my freedoms what the hell all right guys uh I've, I've 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 done this i have i saw this i mentioned it yesterday in my short little video and it is something that is really 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 wrong with this individual who can take this one little thing if it saves one life then it's worth doing said Miranda Vascoli, co-president of new mexico's new mexicans to prevent gun violence 
Okay, well, what if it doesn't? What if it uh, doesn't prevent violence and the innocent people who follow the law are killed? Then your, their deaths are on your hands. It goes both ways, lady. Uh, Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina said he would not enforce it. And Benilio County Sheriff John Allen said, an said he is apprehensive because there are too many constitutional issues surrounding the emergency order. Here he goes. While I understand and appreciate the urgency, to the temporary ban challenges the foundation of our Constitution, which I swore an oath to uphold. Mr. Allen said in a statement Friday, I am wary of placing my deputies in positions that could lead to civil liability conflicts as well as potential risk posed by prohibiting law-abiding citizens from their constitutional right to self-defense. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller, a Democrat, distanced himself from the governor. He said on X that the Albuquerque Department would not be responsible for or enforcing this order. Grisham... You are an idiot. You are a nutcase, and this shall go down in history as your downfall. And with that being said, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, we got a really cool week coming out. We're doing a lot of stuff with ArmyCraft. Uh, I'm going to try to get everything up and running. I've got this week to make it happen. Uh, we're going to be going and shooting another three-gun event. We're doing the Microtech, what is it called? The Pro-Am. And buddies, boys and girls, I am a huge fan of Microtech. So with that being said... We always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hammer it down. So that's it. Uh, and I support this guy, um, Police Chief Harold Medina, and uh, the other guys. With that, y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. Crazy.